Here we are in New Plymouth, end of a massive day in two-wheel drive modern. It's been a fantastic battle between Martin Dippy and Clark Proctor. I've seen them at the beginning of stages and the end of stages and they're giving themselves a lot of shit. It's fantastic, they've been a good battle, really, really close, but very disappointing for Marcus playing Clink, or Clinky, I just know it's Clinky. He was, the, he was 100 metres before the flying finish of the last special stage today and he hasn't made it back, he hasn't completed that stage. So he's no longer in that battle, but he'll hopefully get it going tomorrow and come back and do some good stage times. In Middleman Classics, it's the BMWs that lead tonight. It's often a seesaw battle in this rally. Mark Kirkbadan leads, Bevan Claret second in that mighty Commodore. It'll be a little bit tricky for him on the roads to tomorrow. They're very, very tight and twisty, but there's a lot of wide and open stuff in the days following that, so it's going to be a good battle all the way to the end. In the Andrew Sims All Plumbers class, we've managed to hold on to a lead tonight. Pretty happy about that. Uh, Tony Quinn in second place, and the Evergreen Brian Green, super consistent, he's in third place. We've seen this before with Brian, he just does everything he needs to do, and often gets a very, very good result because of that. But the day hasn't been without some action. Otiwa, which was repeated, was the first really true long stage, and we've seen a lot of carnage in that stage. Probably looks worse than what it is, it's just a bed, a couple of arms, so um, we just took a corner. We didn't touch the brakes, we just, there was no grip, so the road's actually going on quite bad. Nick DeWall, the most spectacular. He has been going very good in target events this year, but a very tricky crest has caught him out. Massive accident and a huge amount of damage, but thankfully, driver and co-driver are all, all okay. Brake pads are good. The corner was sharper than what we expected and uh, didn't make the corner and went straight over. And uh, flew for about uh, 80 metres or so through the air down the valley and uh, hit the bottom of the valley for the first time. Also at the end of that long stage was Jason Easton, a beautiful Mustang. He hasn't gone any further today but hopefully we'll see him back later in the week. Elliot Kirk Banan, that's a Kirk Banan that doesn't drive a BMW, that's a very rare thing I tell you. He had a little off into a bush but he has made it through to the service tonight. We're pretty lucky actually, there's a bit of a ditch in there so it's quite soft, we got to run, got to start so we're just going to try and get to the next stage now. And just keep going. Ross Graham in that fantastic run with about 800 horsepower. Unfortunately, not so many horsepower because the fuel pumps failed in that car. We expect to see him back. And in another hold in, Garth McGregor, he's also had a little bit of panel damage, but still going. And that wraps up today's action. Tomorrow there's a lot of stages around New Plymouth. They're very, very tricky. Technical, lots of bumps, and exceptionally narrow roads. So we just hope that everybody who goes out tomorrow comes back in the same one piece.